Are you tired of living a life you don't love? Do you crave more and find the pathway elusive? Well, welcome to the Intuitive Coaching Show with me, Ruth Wilson, the Intuitive Coach, and Dr. Pat, as we begin to discover your unique personal magic and easy steps to create that life you love, that life you crave. As a life coach, certified hypnotherapist, and intuitive, I am passionate about helping you tap into your intuition and learn to work with your inner resources to use Use your energy to create a life you desire. You don't have to be positive, stuff your feelings, or spend lots of time and money on self-development because during this show, we'll show you the how and why. Ready to turn crave into brave, desire into inspire, and catapult your life force full steam ahead in the intuitive coaching way? Call in, write in, plug in. The Intuitive Coaching Show starts now. Hey, everybody, I want to welcome you to the Intuitive Coaching Show. I'm Dr. Pat. I get to take this amazing journey with the one and only Ruth Wilson. And boy, hang on for a minute. Did you pick a doozy for us today? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, Ruth. I mean, come on. Why bad times and are good times for creating a life you love? Now, if my mama was still alive today with her deep South roots, she'd say that's a country Western song, right? Yeah. Well, I like country Western, but I didn't pick it up from there. Maybe I should sell the title. But, um, you know, so many people, especially these days, are having setbacks, um, losses, relationship losses, job losses, children leaving home, financial issues, you know, whatever it is, we've all had it. And even if you don't, even if you're fortunate like me, I'm chugging along okay, but you look out there and um, you look out there and good Lord, there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on and you just wonder how you're going to handle it all. Mm. And I'm discovering and have seen over the years that a lot of times these bad things that happen are really, they're really good things wanting to happen. It's a change of direction. It's a, it's, you know, bumping up against the side of the stream so that you go in a different direction. Maybe Uh, I think of it various ways, but, but it's a really big opportunity. And a lot of people in your life will be really quick to tell you that it, that you should, you know, give up. Pack it in. Pack it in. You Pack lost your in. job. Okay, now you can stay home. Or your child left home. Now you can you can stay home and watch more TV or something. And and actually, it's an opportunity for you to do something new. One of my favorite one of my favorite verses in scripture is, "You gave me hope and a future." And humans need a future. They don't need to stop and say this is the end and i would really advise people to not accept that not accept that when people tell you it's time to scale back yeah. time to give up but to look for that hope and a future because a lot of times it's a chance for you to really rock it into something new um something you like better um my favorite example is is a client who lost her job because her health was poor. And so how how miserable is that? I'm I'm not healthy and I can't work. Mm. And that was how she felt. And ultimately she took an easy job so that she didn't need to have as much energy. But she started doing a um a hobby. She made jewelry. And as she made jewelry, she got healthier. She was happier. She was resting more and ended up doing quite well making jewelry and didn't even need the job. She was very, very happy that she had lost her old job. And at the time, it had seemed like just such a terrible thing. Yeah. I was just talking uh, two things uh, really on that point. I I really want to stick with this because you are really on it. You know, we sometimes... We take in the advice of people that don't know who you are. So what do I mean by that is a lot of times, and I would say the science of the psychology shows, and you would know this, Ruth, that 
what, nine out of 10 times, it's a projection of that other person's life, right? And, you know, this is not the time to scale back, to hold back. You know, we were not kidding when we said 2024 was the year of more. It didn't mean that we weren't going to run into obstacles, that we weren't going to run into some challenges, right? Challenges are great. Challenges are enormous ways to have, like my friend Susan would say, a growth spurt. And yet at the same time, if you try to will your way without using your intuition, you will not get there, right? Well, that's the thing. It's really important in situations like this to to be able to use that inner magic, that inner magic that tells you what is possible when you're looking out at the world and hearing what what everybody thinks, the, the consensus of the of the um, the news channels and that sort of thing. And this is where intuitive coaching comes in really handy because inside you're going to get those hints and sometimes they're whispers. Yeah. And what I do is help turn those, turn the volume up on those whispers for people so that they can hear them loud and clear. But even if they're just whispers, you can learn to listen to them yeah, and get the intuitive information that'll tell you this is what you do now. Yeah, this is what's next for you. This is why we stopped. We, the universe, stopped you and and made you take a look because it's you know there's no getting around the fact that when you lose your job or you your kid goes off to college or whatever happens to you, it 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 hurts. Mm-hmm. It oh, hurts, and there's oh, grief. I've been fired from every job I've ever had, Ruth. <laughs> So there's a reason why some of us start our own companies, right? Um, And I look back at that, and as painful as those were, I understand why they happened. I mean, 25 and 24 and a half years, six months away from a pension, something happened to me, something intuitive, something spiritual, something almost like the scripture you read. And you have that in your life, too, where something happens and you get a knowing, and then once you get that knowing, you can't stop. It's like I could not stop from speaking a truth about the downsizing that targeted senior people. I could not stop. And I was HR. I'm supposed to implement this. But I want to talk about you for a minute. You are an intuitive coach. You have been doing this before intuitive was a word that people even understood. And I want to honor you for that. And let me tell you why, because it is exactly what Einstein said. And given where we are today, technology, uh, I mean, I got to tell you, we're right in the middle of it. Without having intuition as a guide, call it what you want. You could call it God shot, spirit, inner voice. It doesn't matter what you call it. It's just not your mind. (laughs) And and I want to honor you for that, because we are now finding in this world we're in, it is extremely difficult to navigate the waters of uh, any given day without calling on our intuition. Am I right on that? I mean, what's your sense? You work with people every day. Yes. And, you know, we all have intuition. And perhaps we engaged it more in the past. I'm not sure about that. It wasn't called anything that we um, accepted, but we all have intuition and we all use intuition. But I think the um, the world today calls our attention mm-hmm. to the computer screen. It calls our attention to the TV screen. It calls our attention to everything outside of us. It is acceptable to be an ex, um, extrovert and not so much to be an introvert. So, you know, we we all need to learn to listen to our intuition. And I provide another set of eyes for my clients yeah. to help them see what they're seeing and trust what they're seeing because the intuition is far more trustworthy than your intellect alone. I'm not going to disparage the intellect. It's a wonderful thing. Not at all. We need both. And, and we can right now even get into our intuition We can stay in normal awakening consciousness, which is not what I do with my clients, but we can do that here on this show and still engage our heart. Yeah. 
And sometimes just putting your hand on your heart center can help engage that center so that you're, you have more access to more of your intelligence. And there's, you know, of course, much more that we could do if we had time to engage all that intelligence. But once you get it all on board, then you've got the intellect monitoring things, but you've got the intuition mm -hmm. whispering to you. And that could be really helpful because if you're one of those people that's going through something, you need to ask yourself, what what could this be opening up for me that I didn't know about? Yeah. What can I do now that I couldn't do before? What can't I do now that I used to do? What have I been stopped from doing? And, you know, get past the pain a little bit and look toward what could be good about this. Mm -hmm. And I'm not asking anybody who's just had a a setback to look for something good in it. I'm not a crazy poly, but <laughs> but you can see some some light at the end of the tunnel and you can see some opportunities to build in a little bit more mm -hmm. of what you really love, what really turns your crank and put that in your life. Yeah. Well, I love what you say about this, Ruth. I want you to talk about this for a minute. For those of you just tuning in, I just want you to, to know that this is the Intuitive Coaching Show with the one and only Ruth Wilson. She is your intuitive coach and spans multiple decades in this. Before this was even popular, Ruth knew that this was a critical part of how to get us movement movement and movement happens when you realize there's opportunity so one of the things that you say is that this is a life you love and by the way that just because you may be going through bad times rough times whatever one wants to call them challenging times it doesn't mean our options have narrowed see that's the key we take this thing that happens to us and we think everything's shut down but that's not the case if we know how to navigate the waters. And that's what you do. Um, you and I are not saying if you lose a loved one, don't grieve. We're not saying that. We're not saying no, that. But the chaos can open up space for change. Yeah. And yeah. actually, there's more opportunities when things change, even for the worst. Look at all the changes that we experienced during the, the pandemic years. Oh and the lockdowns and so forth. It was horrible, but a lot of people did something new because of it. Yeah, so let's talk about that. Um, yesterday, I got my tooth pulled. <laughs> I know. And I have to tell you, it was so great connecting with Dr. Crystal Foley again. She is amazing. Wendy Crystal Foley, for those of you that are in this bottle area, amazing, but I hadn't seen her in four years, right? Because the pandemic, then I was back on the East Coast with Linda. But it was like we haven't missed a beat. And it was, I was so grateful. I didn't go in there expecting that my, I'd come out without a tooth, but she knew immediately. And you know what I love about that exchange? She has helped me over a decade with this. She is amazing. And what I realized about it, I didn't question her. She knew right away this is what's going on, did the science, showed me the tooth, and then said, and by the way, it's hopeless to try to save it. And mm -hmm. so then you look at your options. And I watched her during this process. So this is what I want to talk about. This may be silly for you, you all listening, but this is a real deal. As she's going through the process, does she just stop at what looks black? No. She says, you know, there's an opportunity here. Oh, I'm thinking I'm in the chair, right? And I'm like, <laughs> really? And she says, let's do a bone graph. So she's she knows there's something that's going to be lost. It's going to be gone. It may never come back. I know it won't come back in that form. But she's looking at now, what are the options that we have now? If we do this thing you have options three months from now. See, this is what we want to instill in people. Now, how did she do it? She's smart, but she's also intuitive. We can go through this in life, even if your bank account looks like you don't have a dime to your name, right? That can change in the twinkling of an eye. And I happen to know personally that the the opportunities for bone grafts are far, far easier than they were seven years ago, yep. 10 yep. years ago. 
major, major yeah. improvement in how easy anything yeah. you have done will be. Yeah. But it was that moment where she didn't stop and say, pull it out, stitch it up. She oh, was looking bad. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, she did do all that. But let's talk about life and the energy of chaos and what you're bringing to the table. You see people every day, Ruth, and they come to you and who knows what kind of shape they're in. But what you bring to the table is the body, the mind, the emotional body and the spirit. And when I say spirit, I am talking about that intuitive access we have. What do you find is the greatest challenge when our backs are up against a wall? I think it is just to see the possibilities and a lot of times to react in the appropriate way. This is where the intuition and the development of intuition can be so helpful. Um, I worked with a woman who had been in terrible grief a couple of days ago, and she had just had so many losses. But grief is energy trying to move. And when I look at it energetically and got her to see what I was seeing, she saw that she could release some things and she wasn't ready to make room for new stuff yet. But eventually that's what grief is all about is releasing old stuff, making room for something new. Yeah. We're going to take a short break, a really short break, 30 seconds, no more. But before we do that, Ruth, how do people find out more about you? How do they work with you? How do they sign up for a consult? And let's just be really clear with folks, because I'm finding I'm doing this more and more. You don't even have to know the question. You don't have to know what to ask Ruth. You just know that there's something that is painful to you or you're stuck at a place. You don't know how to get past it. And And honestly, for both of us, I know what it's like to try to do it alone. (sighs) Trudging that road is really not the way I live today. So how do people connect with you? How can they schedule time? Well, anyone who wants to connect with me can have a free consultation at intuitivecoach.info. And you can schedule it right there. I'll spend 30 minutes with you. Whether or not you work with me, I will change your energy. I promise our talk will help you. And then we can decide what how I can help mm-hmm. you. And I have a book available, which is called um, Your Next Chapter. And if you message me on my website at intuitivecoach.info and request that book, I will send you a copy. It's just a little brief ebook. It's a quick read read it as stoplight, and it'll tell you all the steps you need to know to start turning something bad into something good. All right. I want to talk more about that because when we come back, what about people that are going through economic failures, health challenges, disabilities? You know, what about any of those things we call major? Is there a way out for those folks as well? Well, when we come back, you're going to hear about not only is there a way out, but there's a way out. Let's take a short break. Emily, we'll be right back with the one and only Ruth Wilson, your intuitive coach. Hey, everybody, welcome back. As we said before, if you want to contact Ruth, go to intuitivecoaching.info. Uh, request a free ebook, next chapter book, right there. Free consult. This is this. The show is is about this message about bad times, but it's more than that. It's about where two or more are gathered. It's about not having to trudge the road to dest happy destiny by yourself. You know, this is a show that says, look. There are resources out there to help you get out of whatever that is you feel you're stuck in. And that's what it is today. So let's get at this. Um, We have gone through as a network 20 years. We have gone through the worst economic downturn anybody records on history, although we have forgotten it. And we just got through a pandemic. And I was talking yesterday uh, with my dentist and we were talking about these past four years and both of us got into a conversation about, yes, how difficult it was. But when we stopped for a minute, we could see things that we could do that we would not have had time to do. Now, great to be able to talk about it. But when you're in the middle of it, Ruth, man, you want somebody to hand you a lifeline. Yes, 
And the lifeline is actually within. You know, I talked before about coming down and engaging the heart center and you're a whole energetic being and a spirit and a soul and a ener energy body and God knows what else that we haven't even explored yet. And you have the answers, you have magic within you and you simply have to access that magic. Well, that sounds great, but how in the heck do you do it? And one of the things you have to do is get out of your intellect because your intellect is trying to figure it out. And it's trying to use the same paradigm that it used to get you into it. Um, how do you find another job that that's better than this last job? That kind of question that you can't answer right now. But if you get into your intuition and you get into your heart, there are answers. And how many of us have not had that experience of things are going badly, but I, I feel so hopeful or things are going well, but I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. We have that, that message, that sign coming up to tell us what's going to happen, to tell us what we need to do. And we have to learn how to listen to it and make good sense out of it. Yeah. I mean, look, you've had some situations. I've had some situation. A lot of the people listening here may say, I, I'm not really in that situation, but let me tell you where you might be. You might be in a situation where you love what you do. You love your job. You love your relationship, but there is something you want. There's a little something more that you want. Maybe you really have achieved the things you want in life, but is that all you really want? And when you take a look at that, you find that there's more that you want whether that's to have peace, to have chaos, to have assurance, to have trust. And these are the things also that aren't don't always equate to, quote, bad times, but they equate to times which cause you to pause. It's the same energy, whether you think it's a bad time or a pause time, you're stopping. And that's really what we want to really talk about. It's not that stopping is all that bad, but stopping when you have a vision or a dream or you want to move forward, that's called stuck. <laughs> yeah, and we put all kinds of concepts on this, like bad times and good times, and, and what are they? You know, I've had some bad times where I look back at them now and I go, oh yeah. my goodness, that, that wasn't so bad. Right. <laughs> or look what that did for everybody. And so a lot of these labels, we need to just sort of shake them off and see how we feel. You know, a lot of times when somebody is stuck, they're they're going after the wrong goal mm -hmm. or they're trying to reach it in a way that is not authentic. That's what I find mostly is, mm -hmm. is people who are being inauthentic and doing things the way everybody else mm -hmm. told them to do. Yeah. And they need to do it the way they really, really want to do it. But, you know, the world will tell you you can't. Well, and but, the world and your intellect both will lie to you. <laughs> it will. I mean, isn't that why you're talking about your next chapter? That's why you have the download, because there mm -hmm. is a next chapter. Yes, there always is. And, and boy, you really want a next chapter. You don't want to close the book. You know, unless you're on your way out of this planet, you need a next chapter. And mm -hmm. the other thing I'm kind of concerned about is, is how many of us are uh, at an age where we are told what our next chapter needs yeah. to be. And we have new things coming up for us. I'm the kind of person who's, um, who's always been a late bloomer and yeah. <laughs> heaven only knows what I got next. Please don't tell me to sit home and and watch the prices right because that would not be any fun <laughs> for me and it wouldn't do the world any good either yeah I, i'm a quadruple capricorn and and people it, it, i found out according to that sign i'm a really late bloomer and and you see that those are the labels that people want to put on but you know there are things that you also do to help people get at that unconscious level and that's through hypnosis isn't it yes yes i'll use hypnosis and um, NLP to use language that helps yeah. open up the mind to different things and, and just feelings and connecting with people on an energetic level. And I can look in and see um, kind of how your energy is moving. If you're my client and I'm looking at that, I can see, you know, what centers are involved and, and maybe get an idea of what you need to do differently 
because I've worked extensively with clairvoyant healing where you change the way you're flowing your energy for healing. Yeah. I mean, Ruth, I, I know that today's message is powerful. I know that this is your life purpose. This is the mission you're on. And I want to ask you this. Everything that you're doing, it comes from what you see in your clients and people. I want to ask you, what's your personal message? What do you want to leave folks with? Because obviously you're seeing some things, and so am I, a pattern of things, even within ourselves. And that pattern could easily shift from something we see as bad or negative to something we see as opportunity and doors opening, right? What's your personal message with that today? My personal message would be things can change in the twinkling of an eye. And they can change in a way that you might never have imagined. Wonders and miracles can happen. I see them all the time. And they can really just change the way your life is going. And I've been, I've had some deep distresses in my life. And, and I've been amazed over the years at how fast and how completely those things can turn around. That's kind yeah. of a long message, but it's a great hope message. for the future. Yeah, I, it's a great message. Ruth, again, how do we get that uh, ebook you created? How do people connect with you? You can reach me, <clears throat> excuse me, intuitivecoach.info and just send me a message saying that you want the um, next chapter and uh, I will send it to you. I love it. Ruth Wilson, everybody. I'm Dr. Pat. She is the intuitive coach. Thank you. And until next time, remember that you've got that thing inside of you and it can guide you. Be open to what that guidance might be. You still have free will, but boy, it's so much easier when you get that intuitive insight. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to the Intuitive Coaching Show with me, Ruth Wilson, and Dr. Pat. Tune in and watch next time for easy steps for creating a life you love. Every first Thursday of the month, 11.30 a.m. Pacific Time, 2.30 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com to turn crave into brave, desire into inspire and catapult your life force full steam ahead the intuitive coaching way. Discover your inner magic and how easy it can be without censoring yourself or spending years on self-development. Move toward what you desire right now, the Intuitive Coaching Way. For more information, connect with me visiting intuitivecoach.info.